How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we have a pretty freaking awesome video. But before we actually get into the video, I did want to remind you guys that I am doing a giveaway on my channel. It's going to be my very first giveaway. Once we hit 1500 subscribers on the channel, I'm basically going to be giving away $100 worth of my merchandise to one subscriber and one subscriber only. It's absolutely free to enter. Literally all you have to do is subscribe. Definitely helps me out a lot as a smaller YouTuber. So, you know, take the quick second that it does to go down there and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also definitely leave a like on this video if you are definitely looking forward to this new 400Z. So uh, again, we do have like very exciting news with this new 2022, I believe it's probably gonna be. It's probably gonna be a 2022 production model uh, year. But this basically the new uh, Nissan 400Z. Pretty much these images or uh, short little video actually leaked out of the new production model of the 400Z. So it's not a prototype, it's not a concept, it's way past that. It is actually in the production stages now. And if you haven't seen it already, it's pretty much just a couple pictures and a little short video that I'm gonna be showing you guys in a bit. So definitely, you know, stay tuned for that. But before we get into that, Pretty much structurally, this new 400Z, the new production model, hasn't really changed from the prototype, which is one thing that I was kind of concerned of. I thought, you know, maybe they were gonna ditch the manual transmission, maybe they were gonna, you know, put a different engine in it. I know they were saying that they were gonna stick with the, I believe, the Infiniti Q60 engine, I believe, but it's pretty much just tur uh, twin turbo V6 and it, can have a manual transmission or can be fitted to a manual transmission. Now that being said, I'm not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna jump right into it. So first I kinda wanna go over, well, I wanna go over multiple things in this video, but first I'm actually gonna show you guys the actual quick little snippet video and um, pictures from, that was actually on Nissan Arabia's uh, website or Instagram page, I should say. So here's the front end. Right off the bat, this front end is freaking beautiful. I don't know what it is. I don't know, maybe they just, it's in a gray paint color now compared to like the fluorescent, like yellow slash green color that this, you know, that this prototype model was in. But for some reason, just like, I don't know, that front, len front end looks amazing. And I know a lot of people were ripping on the grill for being just like a box. I mean, I don't know, if you ask me, like, that's a perfect place for an intercooler, like a big, nice aftermar aftermarket intercooler. And another thing too, when we're, you know, talking about the video, just keep in mind that the logos are covered up and there's some things that are not like 100%, but this is pretty much it. Like, this is what we're going to be seeing on the road, hopefully within this year, which is very, very exciting. So here's the actual video of it. And yeah, even like the rear ends, the taillights look almost like this factory smoked style taillights. Hopefully they're LEDs as well. And you can see they did add the side marker here, which I believe, yeah, that wasn't on the prototype model. So they're just doing all the little kind of touch ups like sensors, marker lights, things to just make it, you know, legal. And yeah, I mean, Right there, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but right there, those like holes in the exhaust tips are kind of rice, but I mean, I don't really care about that. Looks like a Nissan badge right there, or a Z badge, and another Nissan or Z badge right there. And you can also see right in here, I know the uh, play button's right there, so I might screw it up, but I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but right there, it's yellow compared to the white strips, so, they just, Nissan just integrated the the turn signals with the headlights, which is another thing that, I remember I made a video on this previously and it was something I was concerned of because the prototype didn't have, you know, marker lights or uh, side marker lights, or I should say um, turn signal lights. And I actually thought that they were going to integrate them like lower than the he headlight, like right here, like maybe a yellow strip right here. But I mean, that's pretty much the exterior. And I like this little like duck bill wing. I believe that also wasn't really in the prototype. Yeah, you can see the prototype was more like a fastback. It was just very flat in the back there. But this one, at least this specific Z 
has a little uh, like little duck bill wing that does look pretty awesome. And moving on to the back, like yeah, even the back, like it just it looks so freaking good. It looks so damn good. And again, I don't know if it's just the paint color. Uh, I mean, maybe again, I'm biased because I'm definitely like looking forward to this car a lot. But let me know what you guys think about the front end and the rear end just from these two pictures down in the comments below because this definitely looks like it's going to be badass on the street. I mean, it's not going to be crazy power right out the gate. Uh, it's still Z. It's not like it's kind of like going to be a, probably like an entry to mid level sports car. So nothing crazy, but I mean, it just. I don't know, compared to like the bubble body of like the 350 and the 370, this is just so much more better. And even the interior looks amazing. That's all gonna be like one, you know, info infotainment screen. So it's probably gonna have different settings, maybe driving modes, stuff like that, that we see in modern cars almost all the time now. Now it does look like this specific 400Z is a automatic. You, can, you guys can probably tell from that little thing right there. But again, so far, Nissan hasn't gone back on their word. They're still sticking with, I believe it's going to have a manual six-speed uh, transmission available in some of the, in, you know, one of the options or whatever for this car. So, uh, I mean, th th that's going to be amazing. And to be completely honest, like, just like looking at it on paper, it really checks off a lot of different things that I feel like is awesome. I mean, you have... A car that is kind of going for that like retro styling, going back to like the 240, 280s these day, Z days, compared to again that bubble body of like the 350 and the 370. So that's something that I love. Manual transmission, also going to be amazing. And apparently, again, that the engine that's coming in it, I don't know the actual name for the engine, so let me know down in the comments below. But the engine, I believe in the Infiniti Q60 or whatever it's already in makes upwards of high 300s uh, right out the gate or like right around 400 horsepower so i mean that's going to be phenomenal especially again with the manual transmission going to have a limited slip uh differential in the rear going to be rear wheel drive front engine very very kind of like basic uh kind of going back to the z's roots and i mean well i know every other generation z was also front engine rear wheel drive but still it's going to be a driver's car which is something that i'm definitely looking forward to now going back to this uh little i guess article whatever on car throttle by the way i am going to leave the link to all these articles in the description down below but if we click this link and go to the patent patent images or whatever so this is pretty much the patent images again structurally like nothing's changing the drivetrain's apparently staying the same the body looks almost identical to the prototype but still there's Again, we go back to those two pictures of the rear end and the front. It, it's it's slightly changed. It looks like this front end has a little bit more aggressive of a lip on the bottom there compared to the prototype. But for the most part, everything is still the same as the prototype, which is pretty awesome. And I mean, yeah, just like look at that silhouette. I know, again, I know a lot of people have mixed opinions on this car. Some people are going to hate it. Some people are going to love it. Uh, but that silhouette is classic Z. That is literally like you put that next to a 240 or 280Z silhouette and it would probably look almost identical. Well, not almost identical, but you get you get the point. Like it's still retaining that shape. And I know I didn't mention this before in one of the other videos I did on this 400Z, but almost the same thing that Ford did with the S197 Mustang when they came out with it in 2005 and they really recaptured the soul of like the 1960s Mustangs that kind of got lost in the you know Fox body and S SN95 slash New Edge generation. Mind you, those generations are still awesome. I'm obviously a huge Mustang fan. I have a Mustang myself. Uh, same thing with the 350 and the 370Zs. They're still amazing cars, but they're just, the body's just different from the original Z. And again, this one's not gonna be identical, obviously, but it's going for that ret modern retro styling that a lot of car enthusiasts really, really love. And moving on, I also have this article from Motor Biscuit, and it pretty much just goes through some of the different aesthetic features that they see that's kind of different from the prototype. So pretty much repeating what I already said, really. So again, they're saying the production model grill, it 
it's basically the same as the concept but it's more sunken into the body kind of already said that with the it's either more sunken into the body or the lip is a little bit more aggressive i honestly couldn't tell you which one and again they do highlight that structurally it hasn't changed at all and yeah i mean i don't know i just really like that you know rear end and with that whole like black blacked out like i guess you'd say deck club panel or whatever that is right there between the taillights and the smoked taillights from factory like i don't know it just looks really amazing and they also go on to talk about how the z is not really it's not a huge seller for nissan it doesn't you know make up a lot of their revenue but it's a halo car it's pretty much a car enthusiast car and it has the z the z name has a lot to do with nissan's heritage so it's definitely a great choice that they've decided to really like bring it back especially with the reincarnation with the, of the supra with you know toyota and bmw partnering on that but again nissan is doing this car 100 percent by themselves uh, I'm sure there might be some miscellaneous parts here and there that other manufacturers use, but they're using a Nissan drivetrain, a, you know, Nissan body, Nissan interior, like everything's going to be the same. I actually drove a Mark V Supra. If you haven't checked out my review on that, I'll leave a link in the top of the video right now. But when I got in that thing, it was pretty much like getting in a modern BMW. I'm not a huge BMW fan, so I don't know this specific model. I believe it's the Z4 that... Uh, the Mark IV Super is pretty much exactly like. But yeah, I mean, the interior was all BMW parts. I opened the hood on that thing and all the different miscellaneous parts in the engine all had BMWs, BMW logos on it. It has a BMW engine, BMW drivetrain. So, I mean, again, you definitely have to, if you're not a fan of Nissan, whatever, but you definitely have to respect them for actually going ahead and bringing back the Z and making it themselves. Now this is what I talked about before. So it is the Infiniti Q60 that this drivetrain is gonna be out of. And it's expected to have right around 400 horsepower. Like I said before, the Q60 zero to 60 times are five seconds flat. So again, like five seconds zero to 60, that's not great, but that's not terrible either. Uh, this car is gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. People are going to make this thing probably into a drag car, probably into drift cars. You're gonna see tons of different builds with this thing. Your stancy boys are probably gonna love it because I mean, they like to drop everything to the floor, but that's a whole another uh, you know, discussion. And again, as you guys can see right here, we are going to have a Nismo trim for this new Z, which is pretty much like, I don't know, it's gonna be amazing. I just, I really, really hope there's three things that I, you know, obviously aren't proven yet. And I'm really, you know, looking forward and I hope Nissan really gets it right. And probably at the top of that list is affordability. I hope to God that Nissan doesn't go ahead and price the, you know, top trim for this car, like the Nismo trim for this car, the same price as a, you know, like used R35 GTR. I hope it doesn't get into the 60s ranges or the $70,000 range. I, I really hope it doesn't go that high. Hopefully, I mean, I would love it if the Nismo trim for this car was priced right around 50 to 55,000 US dollars. And then it only went down from there with hopefully, again, we can only hope that the base trim would be like high 30s to like maybe 40,000 US dollars. I honestly hope it's cheaper, but I'm trying to be realistic here. I mean, obviously all of us car enthusiasts want a bargain, but again, Nissan, uh, they're not making a lot of revenue from this. They're, this is more of like a car enthusiast car. They're really not gonna probably advertise this a whole lot. And they're probably not gonna sell a lot either. I hope they do, but they're probably not. And they know that. So they're already losing money on it. It's obviously going to take a decent amount to manufacture this vehicle. If it, again, upholds the quality that we keep hearing from Nissan that it's going to be. So I'm trying to be realistic. I hope it's obviously cheaper, but I just don't see, you know, the base trim of this car being like 30,000 US dollars or anything like around there. I just, I feel like it's going to cost a little bit more than that. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much just going to wrap up today's video. Again, I want to remind you, I'm doing my very first giveaway on the channel. Definitely go to subscribe down below to get yourself entered to win $100 worth of my merchandise for absolutely nothing. All you have to do is subscribe. Definitely helps me out a lot. And like always, guys, thank you for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.